Hi, this is Javier Encinas. This is a quick overview of the basic capabilities of ASDIP Retain, our software for the design of retaining walls. Let's open uh, ASDIP Retain. <clears throat> this is a project manager. From here you can uh, start a calculation uh, page or uh, you can uh, specify your settings, units uh, and so on. Uh, save your files and open uh, your, your files. Let's, uh, in, in, this, in this version, uh, two modules are included, cantilever retaining walls and top restrain retaining walls. Let's start with the cantilever retaining walls. Just double click on that. Then uh, assign a name for the calculations, any name. So the name is added automatically to the tree. Double click on the tree. And this is basically the calculation sheet for a cantilever retaining wall. The typical calculation window is composed of the menu bar at the top and immediately below uh, the toolbar. From here, you can access the, uh, the commands of, of, the, of the program. Uh, here is the working area. It's divided in two panes. The left tab pane is uh, dedicated to the input data. Uh, the right pane is uh, for the uh, results uh, of the calculations. Uh, the user interface is very efficient and it has been designed to model your structure in the easiest way. Uh, it consists of several controls like buttons, uh, text boxes, uh, labels, radio buttons and, and so on. So it's a very efficient way to model your structure. Um, the, the tabs are, are uh, organized in a logical way to avoid confusion. In addition, uh, this uh, image here uh, shows the meaning of the variables involved in the in the input. Uh, for example, in the geometry tab, all the, the dimensions of the of the different parts of the of the wall are uh, can be specified. Uh, the material, the, the stem, can be either concrete or masonry. And uh, if we select, for example, masonry, you see that everything changes accordingly in, in, internally in the program, the, the charts and the, uh, the, the fields, everything is, uh, changes accordingly, also the results. Uh, concrete, and uh, also can be a combination of concrete and masonry. For example, if it has masonry at the top, you can model that kind of situation, or if it's masonry below and masonry at the top with different sizes you can do that as well like 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 this so uh, the program is, is very efficient in the in the uh, modeling capabilities uh, from here you can let's go to the concrete you know the stem height and thicknesses uh, if it's stem uh, on the heel on the on, or a stem at the at the, at the toe uh, the foot in thickness and uh, toe length heel length all the dimensions can be specified in this in this tab next tab is loads uh, the backfill uh, in this tab you can specify all the properties for for the backfill uh, density and uh, internal friction angle or the water table what theory for uh, for the air pressure uh, you're going to apply either coulomb or ranking or equivalent fluid surcharge uh, just just like 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 shown here uh, either either a strip or a uniform surcharge concentrated just there with a with an eccentricity uh, vertical load or a wind or a seismic wind uh, applied to any to any height of the wall even if, particularly if it's uh, projecting above the the backfield in the materials uh, tab you can specify the material properties for the stem for the footing sorry for the stem for the footings uh, the concrete the reinforcing steel and uh, allowable some pressure and, and so on friction coefficient you have seen here some typical values for the for the friction coefficient if necessary in the reinforcement tab you you can specify here the reverse in uh, in the wall and in the footing uh, it consists of many uh, controls carefully designed precisely to simplify the process of uh, specifying the, the, the rebars that includes uh, concrete covers and a uh, no, number of rebars, sizes and all that. Uh, 
in the uh, in the right pane you can see the results and at a glance is uh, shows the results in just one page so you can see at a glance if everything passes as in this case or if something fails you can you know exactly where to look at or what to pay attention to if you need more uh, more detailing and uh, more specific calculations go to the condensed which is similar to the previous page but with with much more information and it's also organized by topic uh, and you can uh, you know uh, check step by step calculation checking overturning uh, the stem design checking the sliding all, all the parameters and uh, you know combinations the toe design the heel design everything is here you can go and and, and check uh, whatever is is of your interest if you need even more detailed calculation go to the next tab detail here you can see all the calculations step by step with exposed formulas like this exposed formulas step by step and also with references to the to the aci code like here so if you need uh, to check a specific calculation for any reason just it's here so uh, it's uh, all, all the calculations are exposed open nothing nothing is hidden so it's a very uh, a very efficient way to to show the the calculations graphically the software the software let, let me uh, let me go to you know the the backfill is is, is too low let, uh, let's go to a good example here the stem height is 17 so uh, uh, backfill is only six let, let's let's say 15 feet so you see so everything that you change in the input is immediately reflected in the output in the stability uh, tab uh, you know all the stability analysis is is shown including the overturning the, the sliding all the forces and pressures that are acting on, on the wall are, are shown here the bearing pressure the passive pressure in the here in the in the, in the image below you can see the uh, the uh, the forces the forces the resultant of uh, these pressures are shown here and the safety factor so the, at a glance you can see immediately if it passes or not by load combination okay in the next tab the stem design uh similar to the previous but this is oriented to the stem so it's a little it's a little bit different and also the the the, the load combinations are are not service are factor load combinations are different different thing and uh, the pressures here you know surcharge uh, backfill water uh, seismic or wind uh, here at the bottom you can see the uh, moment diagram and the shear diagram generated for for the stem uh, also for for load combination and finally uh, the uh, construction tab shows a sketch of the uh, of the design uh, wall note that you can specify a cutoff like here you specify a cutoff at seven feet can, that can can be changed uh, say 10 feet or you, you see everything changes dynamically according to the to the uh, to the uh, input in the in this side or, or you can simply specify no cut off alternate rebars and you know all the rebars are passed all, all the way all the way up or or, or cut off you know just alternate rebars are cut off this is to, you know to optimize the the, the design the report uh, you can see a pre preview the con of the uh, contents and the detail let's see the, let's see the detail report page one page two and so on you know with all the charts and the images inserted uh, previously uh, pre-formatted uh, very nicely done so you can see everything together like that and you can print out all that and uh, show it to your client to your uh, reviewer your checker whoever person is interested okay let's go back to the project manager and see the other module there is the top restraint let's uh, create a calculation for this module double click this is the calculation sheet for the re for the restraint type of wall like this S same as previously 
can be either concrete or masonry or a combination of both. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very efficient. Same thing, you can specify all the dimensions of the wall, except that now it's top restraint, it's a little bit different. So the base could be either fixed at the, at the bottom or pin, which is completely uh, different uh, end results. If it's pin, you know, the, the stem will act as a uh, pin, pin, uh, vertical beam, or if it's fixed, it would be fixed pin, the end result would be completely different. Uh, in the in the loads, similar to, to the previous, you can specify the backfill properties, source charge, concentrated loads, and wind and seismic. The material properties, same as, uh, as before, uh, for the stem and for the footing. And the reinforcement here is different because uh, in this type of wall, uh, you know, the, the main reinforcement is in the other side, uh, in the other face of the wall. For the, for the cantilever, it was in the, in the, in the backfill side, here in this type of wall, the main wall, the main reinforcement is, is in the in the front face of the wall. Okay, uh, in, in in the in the results uh, side, uh, same thing. At a glance, shows in in, a, in one screen page the results, and you can see immediately what went wrong. For example, here, uh, the minimum steel area ratio for the toe is failing in, in, in 10%, so you know exactly where, where to look at, okay? The condense is the uh, same type of, ref of uh, results, but with more information provided, so that you can, here is the same type of uh, failure in this, in this particular uh, example in the design uh, in the detail uh, design again you can uh, check here step by step calculations with exposed formulas step by step all this is included here and also with the uh, uh, reference to the to the ACI code so you if for any reason you need to check a particular calculation particular number it's here so you can check it out in the graph oh, the same thing Let's uh, let's increase the size. Uh, let's say 15 feet. Yeah, the backfill side, uh, the backfill uh, height. Uh, same you, here. Here you check uh, the, the stability, particularly in, in sliding, because the overturning is prevented. Uh, the, the forces and the pressures acting on the wall for the stability purpose are, are shown in this in this view with all the results and also here and the reaction at the top particularly if it's uh, if it's if this reaction is provided by the by a floor or by a roof uh, this this reaction is important to know because it's something that the wall is uh, passing to the to the main structure and uh, uh, by uh, load combination service load combination and you can check uh, everything here in the, in the next uh, tab, the stem, you see the uh, pressures acting on the uh, on the stem design, which is an, an, an factor load combinations. And again, the moment diagram and the shear diagram, which in this case, of course, is negative uh, at the bottom and positive at the top, and the uh, and the uh, uh, shear similarly changes sign at, at a certain height. In construction, you can see the, uh, the rebars that you just specified here uh, for, for, for the wall uh, acting, and uh, you can just print out this sketch and uh, put it in your calculation and your drawings. Okay, so, uh, well, the report, let's very quickly, the report, let's uh, check it out. Okay, full view. Okay, this is a pre-formatted uh, view of uh, the report. You can print out everything and uh, and so on. All right. Okay, we did. We complete this uh, video. Uh, thank you for your attention, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.